the dense mangrove forests of Kenya's Lamo Island, and cutting down these trees is now banned. The government says the mangroves can help reduce the impact on the environment caused by extreme weather. At a yard on the island lie heaps of mangrove poles confiscated from traders. Abdullah Hamisi is here to ensure his poles do not rot away, but they have little value now. This is now unworthy for construction. It's dry and only fit for use as firewood. The ban has made life difficult for us. Lamu, a 700-year-old poor town of coral lime houses, was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2001. That means the people living here aren't allowed to make alterations to the buildings in the town's old quarters. A section of Lamu's 300-year-old Jamia Mosque faces imminent collapse. Worshippers are now forced to pray on just one side of it. But due to the mangrove ban, the building cannot be properly repaired. No other material will last as long as mangrove poles due to the use of coral lime in construction. It's our right. We are not begging the government. Our houses are collapsing and the rainy season is coming. We will have a disaster here if the government doesn't heed our calls. Mangrove trees are known as carbon sinks. They reduce greenhouse gases by capturing carbon dioxide and taking it out of circulation. But some argue that doesn't mean they can't be harvested. More than 70% of mangrove forests in Kenya are in Lamu County. There is a reason for that, say the local community, which has been using traditional methods of conservation to protect the forest. They say the government ban is unnecessary. This is the man leading the campaign to lift the mangrove ban. The lesson passed down to us from past generations is one of caring and nurturing the mangroves. We don't cut down to destroy, but use the selective harvesting techniques we learned from our forefathers. With the farm knowledge that people will be the direct victims of natural disasters if the Lamu mangroves are depleted, the government for now remains unflinching in its decision. Mohamed Adou Al Jazeera, Lamu, Kenya.